Hey guys, it's me Jasmine. Katie and I were recently at Disneyland eating a bunch of food, thinking about food as we do. And then she turned to me and was like, what if the rice were food? And I laughed because it was silly and funny. But then I thought, let's do it. She's always challenging me. And so I'm gonna challenge her. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm so scared. I can't, I'm never talking to you about anything ever again, Jasmine. How do we get into this? How does this happen to me? I am going to make the Matterhorn into a dessert. The Matterhorn is a ride based off the actual mountain that's in the Alps. You're on a bobsled ride where you're going through the dark. A crazy Yeti is trying to kill you. It's super fun and it's the only roller coaster I don't throw up on. I am going to make a croquembouche that looks like a Matterhorn. And if you don't know what a croquembouche is, it's a French dessert that is like a cream puff tower. I've never made croquembouche before. It needs to have a waterfall because there's one at the Disney ride. There's not going to be a ride going around. Or a Yeti inside. No Yeti inside. No Yeti inside. No Yeti inside. Stop making me say it. The Yeti is so important to Matterhorn. First thing I have to do is actually make the custard that's gonna fill inside the cream puffs. Let's just get into it. I'm gonna heat up some whole milk. We need a ton of filling because we have a ton of cream puffs that are gonna go on this. We're gonna bring this up to just a slight boil. Just as soon as it boils, we're gonna turn it off. I'm just gonna add some vanilla bean paste, about two teaspoons. So I have 18 egg yolks and we're gonna add in sugar. Whip this till it's fluffy and pale and it's gonna take about two minutes. I chose the Matterhorn because it's my favorite ride at Disney and I actually do get kind of scared because it gets so dark when you you go inside the mountain. Also, he's loud, the roar, you know what I mean? The the one that's not gonna be in the- The one that's not gonna be in my, my dessert. Now we're gonna add in some cornstarch. Our eggs are ready, our milk is ready. I'm gonna turn the heat off and we are gonna slowly add the milk in so we don't cook our eggs, which is called tempering. Otherwise, you're gonna have some scrambled eggs in your custard. This is just gonna bring the eggs and sugar up to the same temperature as the milk, but gradually. Now we'll put this back into the pot. We'll turn our heat back up and we're gonna whisk this constantly. You gotta do it for about seven to 10 minutes. It is really cool how all of a sudden it's super liquidy and then it's just this yellow, thick, yummy goodness. You definitely start to feel some resistance as you are pulling the whisk through. We got bubbles. We are good to turn the heat off. I'm gonna remove it from the heat. And at the end, we're just gonna add butter, stir that in. Finally, we're just gonna put this through a strainer to make sure we have super, super smooth custard. Once all of that is in, we're just gonna put some plastic wrap right over. So we're just gonna put it all the way down on top of the custard so we don't get a skin over it. This guy's done. We're gonna chill him for about two hours in the fridge. So now we're gonna make our shoe pastry, which is just our cream puffs. I'm gonna combine some water, butter, lots of butter, sugar, and some salt. We're gonna melt our butter and bring this up to a boil. Our water butter mixture is boiling, so I'm gonna add in my flour and turn off the heat. With a wooden spoon, I'm gonna quickly mix this up. Once your mixture is thickened up and pulling away from the bottom of the pan, we're gonna put it in a stand mixer, and then we'll slowly, one egg at a time, incorporate our eggs. I'll let it cool slightly, then transfer to a piping bag and pipe some cream puffs. So I've greased a pan and I've put some parchment down. This is just to keep the parchment in place. We're gonna do about one inch cream puffs. So we have these little pointed tops. Do not worry about them. We're just gonna dip our finger in some water and then pat down. Last, so they get nice and golden brown and shiny, we're gonna add some egg wash. I'm gonna put these in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes, then I'm gonna reduce the temperature to 350 for another 15 minutes. Do not, whatever you do, open the oven if you do this at home because it will deflate your cream puffs. You want cream puffs, not cream flats. Our cream puffs are out of the oven. Now we'll fill our cream puffs. We're gonna take it, put the piping tip inside, and then just gently squeeze your filling. Try not to overfill them. And we'll just keep repeating that process like a million times. If you're having trouble putting your piping tip into your cream puff, you can always poke holes ahead of time with like a steak. <laughs> You can take a skewer and make holes ahead of time. So I'm just gonna fill the rest of my cream puffs until they're all done. And then next comes the tricky part. So now I'm going to make a waterfall out of sugar. I've definitely worked with sugar before, but I have never worked with it to like manipulate it to curve. So we're gonna see what happens. First, I'm gonna combine sugar, water, and some corn syrup. You don't wanna stir it while it's heating up because otherwise it'll crystallize and you'll have these like big clumps. But at the beginning, just so that everything gets incorporated, I like to stir it. I'm gonna let this keep going until it gets up to 300, 310, that's at the hard crack phase. And then I will add in sky blue food coloring to get that water, that blue waterfall. So you're telling me you're gonna make a waterfall, but no Yeti? Sugar's scary because it burns oh. bad as Jasmine oh. knows. I am gonna turn this off. We'll remove this from the heat. So to make the waterfall, I got a silicone mat and I'm gonna try to run it down 
Just do a little at first. Oh, that looks that looks cool. Set this off to the side. So right now I'm taking the sugar and I'm doing what they call spinning sugar, and I'm just throwing it. I'm making a mess. Kelly's like, Kelly. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's very like cobwebby. Ooh. Okay. I think we're good. Let's move on to like assembling this whole bad boy together. It is time to make this croquembouche. I am definitely not going to be able to do the traditional way, which is you build up these cream puffs using sugar and there's no, no structure that they're built on. They just build up on themselves. So I found this cone at a craft store. I've wrapped it in parchment paper and instead of using sugar to adhere the cream puffs, I am going to use melted white chocolate. So I'm going to take a cream puff and I'll just dip it in the chocolate and apply it to the base. I'm going to keep doing this. The things I do for you, Jasmine. <laughs> Thank you. I'm feeling good. I'm starting to feel nervous as it, it's all getting compacted, <laughs> like just a little bit. But I think my chocolate's setting a little faster, which is making me feel a little better. Do you think you have enough cream puffs? I I think so. It's a lot of cream puffs. I chose the Matterhorn because it's really one of my favorite rides. You know what I like? If you go on that ride when it's nighttime, like nine o'clock, when they're just about to do the fireworks, and the fireworks will be happening all around it, and like you sometimes pop out of the mountain and it'll just be like, ba -na -na -na. <laughs> that's the theme song to Jurassic Park. Sometimes Tinkerbell used to come down from the top of the Matterhorn, and one time I was on the Matterhorn and it was so magical, I was like, firework! And then Tinkerbell was just like, Dee -dee, and I was like, ah! It was like it was the happiest place on earth. Uh, this is not an ad for Disney. They did not sponsor this. I'm gonna put the top on and then maybe do some around it. Oh my goodness. To finish this guy off, we're not done. I'm gonna add some more cream puffs to build out the sides and get more of a mountain shape. Then I'm gonna add shredded coconut that I've dyed with different shades of green food coloring. I'm gonna make little croquembouche trees with a rosemary to add the snow, just like they have on the Matterhorn. I'm going to dust some powdered sugar all over the top. And finally, I'll place the waterfall onto the croquembouche. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, it worked! I cannot believe that I did this. I think I nailed it. I'm glad I did the chocolate hack. I love the dusting of snow and the rosemary smells so fresh and it really reminds me of real trees. The waterfall has so much movement. I love the coconut grass. I also think my spun sugar just gives that waterfall even more motion. I'm so proud of this. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this. I hope they think it looks like the Matterhorn. Let's see what they think of it and also let's see if it tastes any good. You ready to try or come on in? <laughs> you didn't make a Yeti, so I am Yeti. You look like Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> it's beautiful, Katie. This is incredible. It's like what you would find in like a gourmet pastry shop. And I know you were joking about it when we were at Disneyland, but you did it. Air cheers. Air cheers. So good. Woo! This is so good. Do I get it? Yes, you did it! I did it! for watching. I am definitely not going to do this again because it was super stressful. Unless you ask for it in the comments, uh, let us know. And Jasmine, this is fun, but like, no. <laughs> <laughs> we are all adults. <laughs>